Despite promises straight to my heart I've never noticed But you were never there, you were never there hey. You give me roses, set me apart All I feel was bliss But you were never there, you were never I want us to be what we used to be this night Maybe just another fight But you don't wanna see me cry There is no way that it's never going there I think it better and I swear I'll follow you no matter where Hey guys, Vox here, and today I'm gonna go over my Ultimate Balbi build. So, you know, with Ultimate Balbi coming out recently, went ahead and built her up. You know, I've been waiting to build up a Balbi for a long time, so, you know, here is my build. And on top of that, I'm also gonna show my Greg's Reverse Fate weapon build there. Um, it's what I use for bossing on Balbi, so I'm gonna jump right into it and go through my builds. So my very first build here, which is my farming build, is going to be using Supply and Moisture. So I honestly think this is the best Transcendent mod for Valby because it'll increase your Firearm crit rate and the Skill crit rate. So that's like the main reason I'm going to be using that right there. And you're just going to be doing a lot more damage um, you know, using this Transcendent mod. As usual for all my builds, I like having some survivability. So right now I am running Battle of Stamina to give me HP and also a little bit of duration. But if you want to, you can go ahead and change that to any other like HP mod, like just the normal blue one, either like Stim Accelerant or HP Amp, you know, whatever you're feeling. Uh, I just like having the extra duration because why not? And then on top of that, I have Iron Defense for just defense and the skill power modifier works better to do more damage on Valby since her skill power is already pretty low. So doing something like the spear and shield with skill power percentage would actually kind of do slightly less damage but either or works you know if you don't have let's say iron defense leveled up and you do have spear and shield um, go ahead and use that it's fine it'll work for this slot you can also just go ahead and replace it for the actual blue defense mod if you wanted to or if you just want to throw out defense entirely you can also use something maybe like amplication to give more range if you're looking for that or if you want more duration, you can use Outstanding Investment or MP Accelerant. As for my damage mods, I'll be using Focus on Non-Attribute. Pretty simple, you know, Valby's a non-attribute character. You just want to boost that up as much as you can. So this will affect her entire kit to do more damage. And then I also use Focus on Dimension. So with Valby, the main skills you're going to be using are going to be Plop Plop, which is Dimension right there. And you're going to be using Cleanup. Again, that is a Dimension skill. And then I've mentioned this before in the past, but I like using the focus on mods because they give just additional cooldown for spamming abilities. And speaking of cooldown, I like to add just a little bit more. So I use MP conversion here for that 36.5% cooldown there. Um, if you're not comfortable like losing the max MP, you can easily switch it out with nimble fingers, but I don't think it's really necessary because you're going to be picking up the mana cubes from the enemies as you kind of kill them. And then if you also have a sensor like right here with max MP, like you really shouldn't be struggling that much having MP sustain. So you choose which one you want, but I currently use MP conversion. Now, as for most characters that I play, um, I really like having skill expansion. This makes your abilities a little more consistent. You're going to hit more enemies in general, and it's just a nice mod to have. And then following that, I have skill extension because you're going to want this duration to have the puddles on the ground kind of lasting longer and just doing more damage in general, like over time um, on the enemies. And, you know, when you're combining that with cooldown, you know, you pretty much have constant uptime on everything. So there shouldn't be any worries of like kind of getting the water down and just doing damage in general. 
And as I mentioned in the very beginning, um, I'll be using Supply Moisture pretty much as my main, you know, transcendent mod on Valby. So I decided to add two crit mods. So I'll be using Skill Insight here for the crit rate and then Concentration for the damage. And I kind of want to just show off, you know, how Supply Moisture works here. So right here, you're going to see as I'm standing in the puddle, I'm just going to have a lot more, you know, crit rate in general. And if I'm going to have more crit rate, I might as well boost the damage to just do more damage over time. And for my last mod, which is my yellow mod, I'll be using Decimator. So this is pretty much there to just increase skill power modifier a little bit over time as I defeat enemies. Next up is my bossing build for Valby. And for this one, I'll once again be using Supply Moisture. Uh, but this time around, it's actually mainly for the firearm crit rate. And so what this pretty much allows me to do is turn Valby into a gun descendant. So I'll just go over that and the build with it. So as usual, I'll start off with my survivability mods. And so for this one, I have the blue mod for increased HP, and then I have increased defense. Um, and plain and simple, this just makes me tankier and allows me to kind of just face tank some things if needed. Um, but it doesn't really happen often, but it also just allows me to just shoot the boss and not really have to worry about my health and, you know, getting down or like having to take cover and essentially losing DPS. And on top of kind of my survivability, I also use time distribution to give me a little bit more HP, but then this also gives me skill cooldown. And then I accompany that with nimble fingers to just once again, give me more cooldown so that I can use my abilities when I need to. And then this slot right here, I can fit in shot focus just to do more firearm attack since this is mainly a weapon slash gun build for Valpy. In my final M slot, I use frugal mindset. So this just helps with skill costs. Um, honestly, it's not that needed, but the main thing I'm kind of getting from this is the skill range. So this is allows me to kind of have more room to work with to just stand in my puddles and actually get the supply moisture buff. And just to make sure that the puddles on the ground kind of stay there longer and I don't have to worry about kind of spamming skills, I do use extension here instead of range. Because um, once again, I get the little bit of range from mindset and then skill duration. Like I said, just makes up for keeping the puddles there to make sure I get the buff. Now on the two mods on the right, I decided to keep skill insight and skill concentration for the crit rate and crit damage for the abilities. Because if you put that kind of like on the boss, you're going to kind of just do more damage over time with that. Um, but you know what you could also do with it if you wanted to is replace it for a fortitude mod. This will kind of keep a little bit more damage and give you a little bit more crit resistance. And then you could also swap one out for maybe an immunity here for whatever element you're trying to like fighting a boss for. Um, but I don't think it's really needed. Um, I think just having more damage in general, like right here with these two mods, is perfectly fine. So that is what I do right there. And finally, for my last mod here is going to be HP Collector. So this once again kind of helps with survivability. So if I'm ever low uh, during the boss fight, I can just go ahead and like target a mob and just kind of get my health back right there. And for my third and final build here is going to be a gluttony focus build. So this one, it's not really needed for gluttony. Like you can do just fine just shooting the impurities at him. But I honestly kind of wanted to put use to spiral tidal wave. I didn't want it to just sit there and I also wanted to try it out with this build. So it works pretty well. Um, you know, when you're using this mod, the... You know, impurities are just attracted to the tidal wave as you shoot it out. So, you know, you're pretty much a support role and your main thing during the fight is just going to be cooling down gluttony. As usual, I'll always be doing survivability. So I have increased HP and increased defense. Uh, you know, gluttony hits hard. So just to have more survivability, I am running that. Now, since the main focus on this build is to just play a support role, I do have a lot of cooldown. So I have Nimble Fingers, MP Conversion, and Multi-Talented. I just have the kind of max amount of cooldown I can have so I can spam the Spiral Tidal Wave right there and just making sure that I kind of can, you know, cool down Gluttony to the best of my ability. But again, this build is not really needed, um, just for fun, pretty much. And Adding on top of just me being able to spam my abilities, I have maximized conservation for the skill cost. And then for this slot right here, I kind of just added it because it gives me a little bit of range and max shield. But if you wanted to, you can swap it out for maybe like spear and shield or like iron defense if you wanted to boost defense even more. But it's honestly not needed because on the build here, I already have like 37k defense and 10k health. So again, not really that needed, but if you wanted to, you can do that. And then right here on the bottom right, I have anti-freeze solution, you know, just to not be frozen from frostbite. And then finally, for my X slot right here, 
I kind of just have MP recovery. Um, I didn't know what else to really put there that would be useful. Um, if you wanted to, you could probably put like HP collector for more survivability against the mobs, but I don't think it's really needed. Energy collector here just will help kind of have more MP sustain for spamming abilities. Uh, but if you have built up components or like good rolls on them, like for example, MP recovery out of combat or in combat. And then if you pretty much have all of those, like you're going to have good MP sustain anyways. So that's kind of just there as like a, a cherry on top. Um, up to you to kind of swap that out if you want. And then finally, I have focus on toxic right here. It's kind of useless to have this because, you know, Balbi is not a toxic character, but I only have it there for just extra cooldown. And, you know, actually, when I think about it, what you could also do in this slot right there is maybe add another focus on, uh, I think it was fusion. Uh, yeah, you can add that right there if you wanted more cooldown. Now that pretty much wraps up all the builds I'm using on Valby. Um, now I want to talk about the transcendent mods real quick. So I've used all of them, um, kind of tested them out. And honestly, supply moisture is probably the best of the best. Um, you know, the other ones are kind of lacking. They're not the greatest thing ever. I've also tried the hydro pressure bomb here. Um, and it's fun, I guess, to use, um, but it's not really needed because I would much rather have plop plop here because it gives like the whole kind of, you know, AOE kind of crowd control and dot damage there on the ground. And you lose that using this. Um, but, you know, you can if you want to change it up and just use something different, go ahead and use that. But I'm personally not going to be using it, at least, you know, not right now. And real quick, I'm going to go over my reactor and components. And so on my Balby farm build right here. I am using this reactor right there. So I'll have Thunder Cage mounting. I have Dimension because you're mainly going to be using your second and third ability. And then I think range and duration is pretty good for Valby. Um, honestly, it's probably what I'm just going to be using. So that is what I've got going right there. Now, as for my components, I'm using the full Slayer set. I think Slayer is just kind of too good to pass up because of the skill power that you get from it. And it works very well for a majority of builds. And so for these, you're pretty much going to be looking for MP recovery things on it. So for the most part, I do have that. I still need to get one for my memory. And then I'm still looking for a better processor because the display time there is not the best thing. But everything here works pretty good, you know, as long as you have the four piece right there for the skill power. Now off to my bossing one, as well as kind of the gluttony build I have going. Uh, the only thing that really changes here is going to be the reactor. So. I kind of changed it to a Greg's Reverse Fate one just to have more damage because uh, for those ones I'm mainly going to be using Greg's. And then for the components, I keep two piece of the Slayer right there and then I kind of changed the middle two to um, Annihilation just for the duration just to keep you know more uptime on the puddle so I have the Supply Moisture buff there. Now with all that out of the way, I can move on to my Greg's build here. So for these substats, I have three of the things I want. So I got the weak point damage, the crit hit damage, and the Colossus damage. Um, the last thing I need is the firearm attack. So I am losing out some DPS by not having that. But for now, this works. I still have to like, you know, craft the material to actually reroll. Um, but, you know, those are the four that I'm looking to have on this weapon. And from the clip that I have, like the beginning of the video, you know, if I were to have kind of the subsets I wanted there, I'd probably be able to kill the bosses faster because of just the increased DPS. But anyways, I'm just going to move on to the build I have going for Greg's. So for this one, uh, it's pretty simple. I'm pretty much just stacking attack, uh, crit damage, and weak point damage. Now for the first mods I have going here, I've got insight for the crit rate. And I got the two concentration mods for the crit hit damage. Uh, for this one, I'm using inside focus because of supply moisture. But if you wanted to, you could use edging shot. Um, I'd just rather have inside focus because, like I said, supply moisture is already going to buff the crit rate quite a bit. So I'd rather not lose the attack damage right there. And speaking of attack damage, I got action and reaction for that, as well as rifling reinforcement. And then since I am also building weak point damage, I've got weak point sight and I have have aiming. For the last two mods, I have fire rate up right here. Uh, plain and simple, you know, just lets you shoot faster and do more DPS. And the very final one I have here is going to be real life fighter. So. I really like this a lot because the amount of firearm attack you get from it is pretty drastic. You know, it has its downsides on the Greg's uh, attack rifle here. And it's the fact that the bombardments that spawn will kind of deplete the stacks. But I've I tested this as well as mental focus there. 
and I actually found myself doing more damage with real life fighters so in the end I kind of just used that one and you might be worried about like the accuracy loss from real life fighter on top of half aiming um, if that's something you're worried about you can switch it out but personally for me I don't mind the accuracy loss because there is kind of a max loss that weapons can have before you know it kind of just like stops so you're not going to lose too much value out of that um, and again, if you're just hitting your shots with it, if you like play up close, which I typically do, the accuracy loss is no problem. So that pretty much does it here with the Greg's build here. Uh, I think the mods are pretty set. I probably won't really be changing this. Um, and then, like I said earlier, the only thing I really have to fix are the sub stats because they're not kind of the best of the best that I'm kind of looking for yet. Um, but yeah, uh, just a work in progress. It, it'll happen over time. So that pretty much does it here for my Valby build as well as my Greg build here. Um, I hope this guide helps someone out and I hope you guys enjoyed. But I appreciate you guys for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one.